Hello. I feel like I've been going 5,000 miles a minute today, so I'm a little bit like frazzled, but here we are. Um, today's exciting because, don't touch my food. Get away from my food. Um, because our eggs are here. They're right in front of me. You can't eat these eggies. These ones are gonna be chickens. So here's all of our eggs. Uh, right now they're setting. Um, so, do you wanna say hello? So what you wanna do when you get eggs, um, anytime they have traveled at all, you want the eggs to set for 12 to 24 hours um, and you want to make sure that you're setting them with the pointy side down, which might seem backwards. To me, I thought it was backwards, but that's what you're supposed to do. Um, and then after they've sat like that at room temperature, you can go ahead and put them in the incubator and start the incubator process. So while these are setting today, um, I'll probably just do 12 hours um, and put them in the incubator tonight because you want your eggs, you want to use your fertilized eggs within seven days and these have, they were mailed on Monday, so it's day number five. And do you want to come up here? Um, it's day number five and I don't want to risk um, their, their uh, ability to hatch. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I don't want that to go down, so. Um, because it goes down drastically after day seven. So I'm gonna set up the incubator, let it run for a while to make sure it's at the right temperature. And then um, we will go ahead and put those eggs in tonight. So Anthony set the incubator up for me a little while ago and it's been running for a couple hours to try and get it to like the proper temperature. Um, so the temperature that you want your incubator to be at is about 100 degrees. And the humidity level, you want it to be anywhere from 50 to 65% humidity. So I have been trying, okay, this is my little setup. It's in a closet, because we didn't have anywhere else to put it. So right now, 100.2, so that's pretty good. Okay, 100. And the lights are blinking, so that's good too. It means it's pretty much set. And then I have my humidity reader in here. Hang on, I can't see it. I need a... So I'll see if I can show you. I don't want to take... I don't want to keep taking the lid off because then... So I just have the humidity monitor inside there. It came with the incubator. It's just like a cheap little thing. I don't know like where you're supposed to put it. So I just threw it in there in the corner. Um, but my humidity right now is at 68%, which is not bad. Um, I think I could probably, by the time I put the eggs in and the lid's been off a little bit, it'll probably be right where it needs to be. Um, and in this incubator, it has a little tray at the bottom. So every couple days you add some water to that tray and it keeps the humidity level up. Um, and you can kind of like see like if you add some water and then your humidity is too low, you just add a little bit more water and everything should be good. Um, so this incubator that we got has an automatic egg turner. So I'm a little bit nervous to do that. I was originally going to do just, um, turn the eggs myself, but Anthony says that we should just let it do it, let it do its thing because um, that's what it's for. So I don't know. I might just I'm gonna plug it in and see what it looks like when it's turning. Apparently, it goes really slow. But if you were to turn the eggs by yourself, um, one thing that you can do is mark an X on one side and an O on the other, and then you turn them. A few times a day you want to turn them an odd number so you, like three or five or seven times a day so that they're not on the same side 
like for multiple nights in a row. Um, and then you turn them so that you know like which side you need to turn next, whatever. Um, so I was thinking of maybe marking them anyways so that I can see that visually that they're turning, but that might just be like overkill. But um, they have been setting for, what time is it right now? Mm -hmm. They've been setting for about 10 hours. So I think that I am going to put them in in probably like an hour. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. I feel like this is like, these are my babies and I need to take care of them. <laughs> so I'm about to put these in the incubator. Um, so I don't know if I mentioned this, but we are hatching silky chickens. Um, so we have a couple paint, which is, um, they're white with like black speckles. And then we have several blue splashes which is black, kind of speckly, I believe. And then we have a few buffs, which are, they're like a tan color. Um, okay, <laughs> I'm just gonna do it. Okay, so I have all of them in here. We have 18 of them. I'm gonna close them up so that the temperature can regulate again. And I'm just gonna plug in the automatic turner really quick. Okay, turner is on. Incubator is getting back up to its correct temperature I'll probably go and check on them one more time before I actually fall asleep maybe in like 30 minutes to see where it's at I didn't end up marking them um, with the X no because I feel like they'll be fine with the automatic turner and if I feel like it's not looking like they're turning I don't know I'll probably just unplug the um, thing and just turn them myself but anyways it's looking good and I guess it's gonna be 21 days until they hatch, hopefully. But um, I'll keep you updated. I'll see if I can become a silky chicken breeder hatching expert lady girl. Um, okay, well I'm gonna go to bed because it's way past my bedtime, but thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate all of my little audience. Um, just makes this time really fun for me. So I'll see you guys next time.